How to make a parametric line-based classic ornaments in Revit. Let's start. Open the Revit. Open a new family. And select metric generic model line based. Open the family. Change the scale to 1 is to 10. Create a reference plane. Draw a vertical reference plane. Dimensions. Select the dimension. Select new parameter. And name it. Offset. Select instance. OK. Select the dimension. Go to label and select offset. Next. Open the classic ornaments family or leave a comment below to download. Load into project and close. Select family 1. OK. Select place on work plane. Place the model. Select the model. Go to properties. And select classic ornaments 3. Align or type AL for shortcut. Select this reference plane. Select the center reference of the family. Lock. Select the model. Go to edit type. Materials and finishes. Associate family parameter. Select new parameter. Name it. Ornament finish. OK. OK. Next. Width. Associate family parameter. Select new parameter. Name it. Ornamental width. Select instance. OK. OK. Thickness. Associate family parameter. Select new parameter. Name it. Ornamental thickness. OK. OK. Apply. OK. Go to Family Types. Go to Formula. Type. Ornament Width Over 2. Next. Select New Parameter. Name it. Quantity. Type of parameter select integer. Select instance. OK. Change the quantity value to 4. Go to formula. Type length over quantity. Apply. Select new parameter. Name it. Ornamental style. Type of parameter. Select family type. And select generic models. OK. OK. Ornament style. Select classic ornaments. 3. Apply. OK. Select the model. Go to label. And select ornamental style. Select the model. Select Array or type AR for shortcut. Change the number to 4. Select Last. Pick at this reference plane. To this reference plane. Select the Array Annotation. Go to Label 
and select quantity. Align or type AL for shortcut. Select this reference plane. Select the center reference of the family. Lock. Go to family types. Let's try to change quantity to 6. Apply. Let's try to change the length to 1500. Apply. Change the quantity back to 4. Apply. Select new type. Name it. Style 3. OK. Apply. Select new type. Name it. Style 5. OK. Ornament style. Select classic ornaments. 5. Apply. OK. Select the model. Select edit group. Select the model. Go to edit type. Materials and Finishes Associate Family Parameter Select Ornament Finish Width Select Ornament Width OK Thickness Associate Family Parameter Select Ornament Thickness OK Apply OK Finish Edit Group Go to Family Types Select new type. Name it style 7. OK. Ornament style. Select classic ornament 7. Apply. OK. Select the model. Select edit group. Select the model. Go to Edit Type, Materials and Finishes, Associate Family Parameter, Select Ornament Finish, Width, Select Ornament Width, OK, Thickness, Select Ornament Thickness, Apply, OK, Finish Edit Group, Go to 3D, Go to Family Types. Let's change the quantity to 3. Apply. Go to Graphic Display Options. Select Realistic. Save the family. Save into the desktop. Name it. Classic Ornament Line Based. Save the family. Load into project and close. Pick at the wall surface. Select the family. Change the quantity to 6. Right click and select create similar. Pick at the wood surface. Now let's make a cutout from our classic ornaments to the wood panel. Select the model. Go to edit type. And select style 5. OK. Select the model. Go to edit type. Change the ornament thickness to 0.05. OK. We want the ornament is thicker than wood panel. Select the ornaments. Select Edit Work Plane. Pick a plane. OK. Pick at the wall surface. Now the ornaments is hosted on the wall. Go to Modify. Select Join Element. Select first the ornament. Next the wood panel. Select the ornaments. Right-click and select Override Graphics in View. Select Element. 
and uncheck visible. OK. Now we have a cutout from ornaments to the wood panel. That's it for now. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.